How's it going guys? Got your gameplay today on World at War and I will be using the trench gun. This game is good for many many reasons, right? Number one, it's probably the first game of World at War I played in a long long time. Number two, Molotov Cocktail Kill coming right up. When do you ever see that happen? Molotov Cocktails are basically the gimped version of a throwing knife or tomahawk if you're new to the COD series, but yeah, I thought it was a pretty fun gameplay. Flawless trench gun on dome and World at War. World at War is one of those things which just makes me smile. It does admittedly make me rage at times. I am not an angry person in general, but when I do get angry, it's normally contained within me and... You know, World at War is definitely one of those games which can get frustrating at times. But that being said, this game is an amazing game to go back to every once in a while. And, it, like, it's the same with every COD. If you leave it for a while and go back to it, you're bound to enjoy it just because it's something new and fresh. But the point of this commentary is, what I'm going to be talking about is the pleasures of life. The passions or whatever you call them, the stuff you like to do, like general things that make you happy in life. Now the reason I thought about this is because the other day I was feeling a bit down and I have no idea why. I guess it was one of those kind of random emotional fluctuations you get. I don't really, like there was no specific reason behind it. You guys probably know what I mean when I say just one of those moments where you just feel crap for no apparent reason. But it was one of those and I thought, all right, let's do something to cheer myself up. So. You know, I close down my internet, I boot up the PS3, play a bit of Skyrim, just any kind of offline game, bit of Cooler World, whatever. And gaming's always been one of those things which I just go back to if I'm feeling down for whatever reason. Like, that's the, the classic, you know, gamer thing to do. You're feeling down, you resort back to your games because they're never gonna let you down, never gonna give you up, never gonna hurt you. The lyrics of Rick Astley, you know what I'm saying. Point is, there's always these things which you can go back to no matter how bad you're feeling and they will always make you feel better. And for me personally, and I imagine anyone who's watching this video, gaming happens to be one of them. So other things that make me happy in life. I thought, you know, why not go on to some other things and it'd be interesting to see what you guys think in the comments section. Like, let me know what it is that makes you happy. If you're feeling down, there's always something you can go back to. And, you know, it's important to stay happy. Like, that sounds like a really stupid and obvious thing to say, like... But if you're feeling shit, you can't do anything, pretty much. Like, I don't know about you guys, but... If I'm feeling depressed, I literally can't do anything. I just want to lie down and fall asleep, but... Yeah, I, I mean, like I said, always important to bear these things in mind. And I was thinking, right, other things that make me happy. Gaming, number one, obviously, gotta be. Music, of course. Music has always been a big love of mine. Particular types of music, I like a little bit of everything, really. Just kind of, well, I, I guess, a bit of rock, a bit of, you know, indie music in there as well. Stuff like Foo Fighters and Linkin Park, that kind of stuff. Comedy. Comedy is a big one. I have watched Anchorman probably at least 20 times, and I still have not got bored of it. There's also some great dark comedy, like Heathers or... There's a cartoon sketch show called Monkey Dust, definitely worth looking into. Redheads, redheads will always make me smile no matter how shit the day has been, let me tell you my friends. What else is there? Flutes, I enjoy the sound of the flutes, that might be something to do with Anchorman, I don't know. It's just the little things in life that make you smile. Italian food, that's also a big one. I could eat as much Italian food as... I don't know. I could eat a lot of Italian food, it's very nice, put it that way. So, let me know in the comment section what you think, and with that being said, I will see you all next time. Goodbye.